In this video, we're going to show the summarization report that comes with uh, Timer Pro for a production study. So at this point here, you can see we have a study that we've manually created uh, from manual data collection as opposed to using an iPad or an Android device here. You can see over here in column A, we have the study. And then we have, in this case, we get seven machines involved in the study. And then in here, we get the asset and then the activity. So you can see the study. The study was in progress from 8 o'clock to 3.20 p.m. And then down here, you can see each machine. And these are the different stoppages that were encountered by each machine. So in this case, an alignment went from 9.13 to 9.28 and so forth. And you can see we've done that for each of the uh, machines in the study. So we've got all seven of them down here, documented all the way down to the bottom here. So obviously, you could take this from manual recording sheets and so forth. You'd summarize it in this one area here. And then all you do is you come up here and you click on the send the balance. Give it a couple of seconds. And the study will be presented to you right inside Timer Pro. So you can see the study in progress. You can see it's working in um, in minutes here. So be sure and set your uh, options over here, the general options, to be sure that you're working in minutes before you pass the data in. So three, uh, sorry, 440 minutes here. And then you can see each machine. And uh, now when we didn't record uh, any activity, in other words, we only recorded the stoppages, it's automatically putting it in the runtime here. And that's the trick in the production study. It will, any time you don't record is accounted as for as being time that actually the machine was actually working. So then when you need to summarize this, you're going to go up to the reports at the top here. And then you'll select the option that says production study. And this is all done in Excel. So we simply click on the export to Excel here and it'll start popping it out here. There's a series of sheets being created here automatically. And uh, we'll go through that in a moment here when it's finished here. Okay, so you can see some of the output that's starting to put together. Now, there are four sheets here in the production study. There's a process summary, the asset details, the machine downtime, and the downtime analysis here. So here's the process summary. That's the default. So all the tasks here, 81% of the activities was value added, 19% were the delays and so forth. And this is the total time accounted for for each of the machines. You can see it's the machines down here. 440 minutes. They're accounting for the entire time for each for the study and for each of the seven machines down here. And here's a snapshot of the uh, process, the production study summary at that point in time. Then we go to the asset details. And this shows you for each asset, the machine, how much time was run, the alignment time, the run, then the jam, the run. And it's breaking out the individual data. Obviously, this is information you could take and summarize elsewhere. It's also showing you here in the scale here, these are the value-added run times, and these are the delays. So these are the non-value-added work components down here. And you can see it does that for each of the seven machines also. right? And then we go to the machine downtime here. So here it actually sorts it by the machine that had the most problems. This is actually prioritizing the ones you might want to look at here. So for instance, you can see here machine six, 64% uh, is value added and 36 was non-value added, right? And here you can see the maintenance, 132 minutes of maintenance here. The wait time, 28 minutes of wait time. And these are all to scale, so you can easily see how it's going down here as we get down through it. Here's machine four, again, the, the it's more utilized and the non-value added work time is going down as we get down here and it's breaking all out here. Of course, this is just showing you it for each machine. You need to know what is the real cause and this is the downtime analysis here. So this is a very good um, analysis here. It tells you the total downtime, 592 here, which equates to almost 20% of the uh, available time here. And then it prioritizes again from the most common one, the maintenance, you can see 132 and machine six is showing up here. Also, machine seven has a smaller amount of maintenance here, and it shows you over here the breakout in the pie chart. So this is intended to let you focus on where you should be spending your time in order to reduce your, um, your downtime and increase your overall equipment efficiency.